Welcome to the Financial Services Journal. What can financial service professionals learn from the real-life experiences of Henry Ford and companies like FedEx, UPS, and Walmart that are contained in this workshop? Intel looks for 50% of ideas to come from outside of the company. None of the companies mentioned before are in the financial services industry, yet all of their stories contain ideas that are critical for your ongoing success. That's because the principles of business work the same in every industry and they will work for you as well. I'm hoping you can relax and continue to watch today's seven minute workshop, but if you prefer to read, click on the link directly below the screen. As a result of this workshop, you and your organization will ask what would you want if you were the customer? Ask, what could you achieve if there were no technological or organizational obstacles? And fashion a new business model for a new age and assume that technological innovation will create opportunities for constant improvement. Henry Ford and Thomas Watson, pioneers of the 20th century corporate world, had no idea how much they would change the world, nor could they possibly foresee how the car and computer would transfer our lives forever. When the steam engine came along in the 19th century, some people scoffed at it and said, there will always be a need for horses. Others said, this looks promising. Let's invest in railroads and companies that build locomotives and make products that are shipped by rail and in new communities built in these new territories. Which side would you have been on? Prior to creating a new future, businesses must assess the current situation. What value is offered, delivered, and consumed that justifies your business's right to exist? How is value created and who helps create it? Then identify each separate key participant and process and describe what each contributes to the existing system. Pinpoint the weakness and the opportunities for improvement. Next, imagine a reinvented, hugely successful and highly value-added future three to five years from today. Consider the following forward-looking questions. How will your organization change when the customer gains full control? What would you want if you were the customer? What could you achieve if there were no technological or organizational obstacles? Your restated value proposition should inspire a new, original, and competitive strategy. Once you've taken apart the old proposition, identified the weaknesses, and envisioned a transforming value proposition for the information age, it's time to fashion a new business model for the new age. Consider how the internet infrastructure can support real-time customer responsive communications and transactions in your business. Recognize and reward all participants, including customers, for their value and their contributions. Each and every business must assume that technological innovation will create opportunities for improvement. Therefore, each organization should identify all the key classes of participants, including strategic partners, suppliers, and customers, and create a plan of how it will create and operate in the future. Will your company add future value by distribution like FedEx and UPS? Is there an opportunity in your industry to mirror Walmart or Woodbury Commons? What about allowing customers to discover prices like eBay, a sell-side internet-based auction? Or would the Ariba.com model, a buy-side auction, enable your buyer to receive bids from several sellers becoming an innovative online business procurement site. Information age content providers will design, make, and deliver the goods, services, and information that satisfy customer needs. 
Infrastructure providers will deliver communications and computing, electronic and physical records. Roads and buildings will be needed. How could Ford and Watson know that institutions steeped in command and control cultures and scientific management could change into places where success depends on letting go, on teamwork and on trusting the wisdom of frontline employees. For many organizations, learning to live and work effectively in the internet age poses the most gut-wrenching change of your business lives. For others, because of youth or temperament, the new business model is already the only livable kind of environment. Are you investing in today's equivalent of stables, saddles, and blacksmiths? Or are you able to look far enough ahead into the future and invest in emerging infrastructure? Your answer could very well decide the future of your organization. Thanks for viewing and special thanks to Charlotte-based Episode 11 for filming and VBiz Mail for delivering this workshop to you. As a recently retired 37-year veteran of the financial services industry, I know firsthand the challenges that you face. Keep me in mind for any keynotes, workshops, consulting, and training programs that you may need. Call 800-239-0058 and watch your email for the next workshop the third week in January 2009. Happy Holidays!